Um, yeah. And, and St. Paul, he wrote letters, didn't he? St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Always writing to the Corinthians. St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Chapter 1, verses 1 to 53. Dear Corinthians, as you can tell from my preamble, it's going to be quite a long letter. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Don't do bad things, only do good things. Always treat your neighbour like someone who lives near to you. <laughs> Never put a sock in a toaster. <laughs> Never put jam on a magnet. <laughs> Never throw your granny in a bag. <laughs> Never suck all the juice out of a vampire. Never lean over on a Tuesday. things, but I've got to go and have a Mars bar now. Love. Love, Paul. Brackets, Saint. <laughs> Is that how he wrote his name? Paul, brackets, Saint. <laughs> BA honours. <laughs> um, yeah, so he wrote this, so right, there, there's the end of the letter. Da, 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 ha, 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 ha. The Corinthians... Corinth. <laughs> They must have been a bit fucked off over in Corinth, don't you think? The postman going around, come on, one of you Corinthians got to take this letter. Oh, fuck off. Oh. That's off for Mo old Mona St. Paul, isn't it? No. Nah. I don't want it, I don't want it. You've got to take it. Come on, it's got to get a signature for it. Oh, fuck off. It says the Corinthians, plural. Ask oh, someone else. Give it here. What does it say? Don't do this, don't do that. Never put a sock in a toaster. <laughs> Jam on a magnet. Ooh, he's lost his brain, hasn't he? <laughs> Whose idea was it to be a pen pal with St. Paul anyway? <laughs> that fucking backfired, didn't it? He's supposed to stop doing it about 15. He's been gone for years. Come on, Corinthians. Come on, general meeting. Right, we're going to write a letter back to him. Stop all this rubbish. Uh, the Corinthians letter back to St. Paul. <laughs> Chapter 1, verses 1 to a million. <laughs> More letters to follow. <laughs> Tuesday the 28th <laughs> of something. Uh, uh, dear Paul, brackets, saint apparently. <laughs> fuck off! <laughs> Just fuck. Who are you? Why do you keep sending us letters? You arrogant bastard to send a letter to an entire city. What do you want us to do? Put us up on a board or something? Just fuck off! <laughs> You're coming on like Alistair Cook, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I've never, never put a sock in a toe. So what's all that about? <laughs> you daft git. <laughs> Love and kiss is the Corinthians. <laughs> kiss, kiss. Steve the Corinthian, Fred the Corinthian, George the Corinthian. <laughs> there we go, St Paul. Outside Corinth. <laughs> And the Carthaginians as well. Oh, they gave the Romans hell because they attacked Rome. The Carthaginians attacked Rome over the Alps on elephants. And the Romans were never expecting that. <laughs> Romans were there going, what? The Carthaginians are attacking? God, I knew they'd do that. What? They're attacking over the Alps. Damn, I knew they'd do that. <laughs> what? They're coming on elephants. <laughs> Where'd they get the elephants? <laughs> there are any elephants in Europe. <laughs> this I've got to see. <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure it's just not a typo mistake? <laughs> the Carthaginians attack and they're coming over Alps, they're in their element. <laughs> well, upbeat, you know? <laughs> they're coming on fucking elephants, right? They weren't going to, you know, they were going to come on skis, of course. That was the way in down the fucking Alps. But the, and the, the, the Carthaginians had their leader Hannibal and his brother Hasdrubal, have a ball and have a banana. <laughs> Whose real name was, Whoa, have a banana. <laughs> and, and Hannibal went to the shop and said, skis for all of our men, we're going to attack the Romans with the Alps. And the guy said, sorry, I didn't catch that. <laughs> We're going to take the Romans over the Alps, in fact. Oh, all right. Well, we're fresh out of skis at the moment. Last pair just went to, uh, someone. <laughs> oh, well, that's a bummer. Oh, well, we've got some elephants, though. <laughs> Are they good at skiing? Oh, tops! 
top skiers there, because elephants were much more live back in Roman times. <laughs> much more like Austrian skiing instructors are today. <laughs> Off the tops of those roofs of chalets. <laughs> what about the people who lives in those those wooden huts? <laughs> Fuck off my roof! <laughs> Stop scaring off my roof, you bastards! <laughs> Bloody elephants! <laughs> All my life living out Heathrow. Come out here, fucking hell. Bit of peace and quiet. Boom! Fucking elephants on my roof. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mrs. Bad Crumble. <laughs> anyway, so you think I should take up the clarinet, do you? <laughs> yes, I do. I think it'd be very good. Mr. Caesar here has been learning the clarinet for some time now. Yes, I have. It's a very good instrument. <laughs> it's very sexy. I'm learning Sniggers of Bogle Rig. <laughs> Is, uh, isn't that isn't that snug as a bug in a rug? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I don't know, Mrs. Bear Crumble. I mean, you know, I'm just uh, why am I Australian, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. My country hasn't even been invented yet, <laughs> except by the indigenous race that lives there. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what all that is about. <laughs> Sorry about living here in this house. Boom, fuck off my roof. I'm going to put a huge hairnet up. That's what I'll do. <laughs> this will stop them doing it. Elephant's going... Woo, 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 boom, boom. <laughs> and you're going to stay there. <laughs> Could we have our ball back, please? <laughs> so they did. So Hannibal said, all right, well, then, you've, you've proved it with that small film there. <laughs> You've led me into it with that small elephant skiing. Uh, are you sure they're good for elephants? You know, sure, sure it's a good idea? To... Oh, yes, if you've never seen an elephant ski, then you've never been on acid. <laughs> Too true. As your film shows. Right. Elephants for all my men. Uh, what size did you take? Uh, six and a half elephants, thanks. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Right, you guys better be good at skiing. Woo! Woo! Huge ski sticks. And, and the ski lifts back in those days were enormous. I don't know if you've seen. Carthaginians just sitting in those bucket seats with two elephants hanging off their feet. Carthaginians going, oh, my thighs! Oh. 